Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from exitautomation.com and welcome to part 10 of our API testing with REST Assured and Cucumber course. And in this video, we'll be talking about working with put in REST Assured and Cucumber. All right, so let's get started. The scenario for the put in REST Assured course is going to be something like this. As you can see in here, for this particular video, I have created a very, very super simple scenario. As you can see, it's kind of similar to the one that we discussed in our previous video for the delete operation where we performed a post and then we performed a delete and then we performed a get and then we saw the verification operation right it's going to be pretty much the same thing just that this time we are going to perform a put operation where as you can see i'm updating the existing title from api testing course to api testing and then i perform a get operation and then i should not or sorry, I should see the body of the title as API testing. So this particular uh, step definition has to be changed. Uh, so it has to be modified as well. So we are going to be probably implementing two steps in here. And then we are pretty much done with our put operation as well. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to IntelliJ IDE. All right, so this is the same project that we were discussing in our previous video. And this time, there is a slight change that we're going to be creating a new feature file. But just that this is going to be a put post operation. So it's a put post feature. And I'm going to be creating a new feature here, which is nothing but put post. So verify put post operation. And this is the scenario that we'll be implementing in this particular video. As you can see, this is exactly the same scenario that we have seen in our slide, just that we need to implement for this particular step definition. And I'll be putting that in the post profile step once again. And there is a reason for that. And let it be in here. And then we'll talk about the reason later. All right. So for the put operation for this particular step definition, all I'm going to do is I'm going to be implementing pretty much exactly like how we did for the post operation over here, right? So because the body is also pretty much similar, so I don't really have to hunt anywhere. I can just copy this code and I can start putting it over here. And because this requires an URL and data table of table, I need to do that as well. And these values remains still same, just that the implementation for the rest assured extension is going to be a little different. So I'll be putting that over here and this is post ops with body. So this is exactly the same thing that we require in here as well, which is cool, but this is not post rather it is a put ops with body. And as you can see, there is no method. So I need to create the method. So once again, if you do a alt enter here, it's going to bring you an option showing create a method put ops with body in the rest assured extension class. So you can do that. Very smart and intelligent IntelliJ IDE. Really like the fact that the IntelliJ IDE is one of the best IDE for programming languages because as you can see, Visual Studio is really, really powerful for C Sharp guys. And similarly for Java world, IntelliJ IDE is one of the most popular IDE. Very, very handy and nifty as well. So as I said, I'm going to be implementing the code. And once again, I can just copy paste some of the code from the existing place. But just that it's not a very big deal to copy paste as well. I can just do a request dot and we require a body here. So I'll be doing a body and the body is going to be the body that I'm passing in. And let me flip back to our put statement once again. And you can see that this one actually requires a path parameter, which we did not really give a lot of attention to it. So we actually have to give a path parameter for the put operation. So for doing that, this particular method should be renamed to put ops with body and path params, right? And this is the path params thing. So I need to copy this, paste it over here. And let's rename this to path params. So there requires a request dot path params of path params as well. And finally, we requires a return of request dot put method this time. 
and this is the URL that I'll be passing in, right? And the response object is something that we require for the return type, so we need to do that as well, right? So you can see that this is exactly the same method that we need to implement. So uh, we'll be doing that for this particular step definition over here, right? So as that said, we also require the path param. So I'm just going to be copy the code from our existing uh, methods, step definitions. So if you follow along with our previous videos, you understand how we created this in our previous videos. So please go ahead and watch there so that you can have a clear understanding of what I'm kind of doing very fast in here. Right. So the path param is something that I need to pass as well over here for this particular particular method implementation and the post ID is something that you can see here the post ID and it requires the ID so which is going to be this guy so it's already there here so we don't really have to worry about it so I guess the implementation is almost done here all we have to do is just run this code and see what's really going to happen but there seems to be one error in here let's quickly see what's really happening yep we have to do that all right almost everything is good right now so let's try to build the project let's go to the delete uh, put posts and let's try to run this project and see what's really going to happen so i expect this test to pass because that's what we're going to be verifying for the api test and let's run this and we can also see the web server what's really happening here so it should perform a put post put and get and there seems to be some sort of errors here so it seems like expected oh yeah but it should not the body is idleless so we have performed so we have performed the not in our previous video and that's why it seems like this is like a false negative so we also have to re-modify that so instead of should not you can do a regular expression in here something like this so that you can create a condition something like this as you can see this is the power of our uh, cucumber where you can keep on extending this to any level you want and you can just put like should so if it is a should thing then this is what uh, if it is should not thing you should do this one and if it is should so I can I'm just can just put an else here then instead of is not, we can just put is, which is very easy. Something like that, right? The implementation is very simple and straightforward. And now if I go to the uh, feature file for the put, you can see I need to put something like this over here. And you can see it's kind of mapping automatically. And now it is like a criteria for us as a condition in here. So if it is should, then this is going to fall under the else statement and the test is going to pass. So as this is modified, we also have to modify our delete statement because we use should not in our delete. So I need to modify that as well. So that's a good practice so that before you forget what's really happening in your previous videos or previous code, make sure you modify that. All right. And let's quickly run this scenario. And there we go, the scenario has got passed. Very, very simple and straightforward, guys. And I can also show you one thing. So instead of API testing, uh, something like API testing guide. And I can do that in here. And let's try to run this. So you can see that even this time, the test should pass. There you go. And that's it, guys. This is how you can see that things are actually happening for us without any problem. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.